Welcome, Gaunt the Hero here, and today I'm actually stopping at Micro Center to finally upgrade my system. Because, uh, RX 480s are great. I got them before the stupid cryptocurrency boom, but in Crossfire, they're good, but they're so glitchy. So, in this next go around, I'm going to go and get myself a new GPU and reveal it afterwards. See ya. See ya soon. Welcome back. I have finally picked up my GPU, and as none other, it is the GTX 1080 Ti. And the box over to my right is what's currently in my system. Two of them, to be exact, is two XFX RX 480s, eight gigabyte model. Now I did buy these the these two cards before the crypto mining boom, so I got it for about two hundred forty dollars a piece. In this video, I will be installing a new one showing benchmarks, comparing the two, and let's go from there. I've installed the EVGA GTX 1080 Ti and I've run the benchmarks and it's really good. I did all my tests in, in the, on the stock settings for both these uh, graphics card setups and they were both run at 1080p because that's the only kind of monitor I have to work with. Now let's get to these, some of these results. Uh, the CPU if you just if anybody was curious it was the 1800x and it was running at 4 gigahertz and the ram speed on the memory because i have 32 gigs you can't necessarily utilize i have 3000 hertz like 
from the factory, but it obviously won't run at that speed and with all four channels, well, not four channels, all four dims being used. And so I run at 2666 megahertz. It's the best I can get off of using all slots because I'm picky and I don't like seeing an empty slot because it needs to be filled with these section of graphics cards because you're obviously going to put a graphics card in and you're like, oh, but the other slot's not filled because it's, well, blocked. The RX 480 in Crossfire on Unigen Heaven, uh, Unigen? Unigen Heaven Benchmark. We got an average of 99 frames per second with it in Crossfire. That honestly pretty decent. I had maxed out all the settings, like every setting was maxed out, so it was pretty good. But it's just a benchmark, so it's not real world. And on the GTX 1080 Ti, Heaven got 142 frames per second average. So the next game we tested was the uh, GTA 5, the running the benchmark. Had all the settings pretty much maxed out. I think we had a few settings turned off. But it was redundant. We used them across both both graphics card setups, so there was no trying to hinder the performance of one or the other. And I'm not I'm not a fanboy of any graphics card. I I finally caved and bought this ridiculously overpriced GPU because of stupid cryptocurrency. Because I was tired of all the glitches that my RX 480 get. So GTA 5, the RX 480's got 68 uh, frames per second average. And the GTX 1080 Ti got 87 frames per second on average. A decent sizable jump because GTA is a still a pretty taxing game, I suppose. The last game I tested was not in Crossfire, it was the Rainbow Six Siege. It didn't utilize it, so this is only a single graphics card it was utilizing. I got 91 frames per second average and on the GTX 1080 Ti, I got 173 frames per second average. Very sizable jump in difference. But that's also, you gotta keep in mind that it's, the RX 480 was only running off, you know, just one of the cards that I had. So if it actually probably utilized it, it would probably been up there closer, but not, you know. Should be, that's gonna include my small amount of testing I did. I overall like my system. I like having only one graphics card now because now I can actually see my M.2 drive right there below it. You'll see it in some of those uh, shots that I gave. It runs spectacularly. I'm probably going to be overclocking it here and trying to get a good stable overclock. I tried a little early, somewhat on a Friday, which I kind of took off, so that's why I'm finishing the video up today. And yeah, I like it. So, if you uh, enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel, it would be great. And if you like this video, you like it. If you didn't, punch me in the face and leave. I could care less. And as always, don't have a great day, make a great day.